Faithfulness, faithfulness, to be true, to be steady, faithfulness. Hey, this is Clint Louie. I'm coming to you with five minutes from friendship. I'd like to first of all thank you for tuning in with me and being here today and for sharing these broadcasts with others. That means so much. And for commenting and letting us know that you're watching. Thank you for that. If you remember yesterday's broadcast of Five Minutes from Friendship, we spoke of God's faithfulness. Well, now let's take that a little further and talk about our faithfulness. Faithfulness. We need faithfulness. You know, churches need faithful people. Churches have to have faithfulness to go forward with Christ. Let me read you a verse of scripture. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs, chapter number 20, and verse number 6, listen now, most men will proclaim everyone his own goodness, but a faithful man who can find. Most men will proclaim everyone his own goodness, meaning it's easy to find somebody who will pat himself on the back. It's easy to find people who will talk about themselves or what they've done, bragging. But then the Bible says, but a faithful man who can find. Faithful man. You know what I would like to be? I want to be faithful. I want to be a faithful man, just true, just steady, just staying with it, but a faithful man. Are you a faithful person? Let's be faithful. You know, homes, homes need faithfulness. You can't have a marriage without faithfulness. You can't be a parent without faithfulness. We need faithfulness in the homes. The country, we need, oh, we need faithfulness from our leaders, faithfulness to the truth, Faithfulness to the people they serve. We need faithfulness from our leaders. Not people who line their pockets on the backs of people, but people who are there to serve their, their constituents. Faithfulness. And then we need faithfulness in the churches. So let me give you a couple of ideas about faithfulness. May I please? You know, a faithful person is, does not have his own agenda. That's right. A faithful man, a faithful woman, he doesn't have his own agenda. He's not on his own little program. He's on God's program. He's seeking the Lord's will. You know, honestly, if we're not on our own agendas, that'll get us over ourselves. If I'm more concerned about God's will than my way, it'll get me over my own self. Faithfulness. Faithful people do not have their own agendas. And then something else. Faithful people are a blessing to others. Faithful people are blessed and they're blessings to others. That's right. God blessing you will be a blessing to somebody else. How many children have been blessed because of a faithful father or a faithful mother? How many grandchildren have been blessed because God gave them a faithful grandmother, faithful grandfather? How many churches are blessed because somebody that is there is just a faithful person? Faithfulness. And then something else. A faithful person is reliable in the day of battle. Reliable in the day of battle. You know, I'm, and this may be a subject I might talk more about later on. But faithfulness in the day of battle. It's easy to be faithful when times are good. It's easy to be faithful when everything's going right. But what about when the enemy attacks? What about when your home is under a spiritual attack? Or your country is under a spiritual attack? Or your church family is under a spiritual attack? Man, we don't need people that will just show up when times are good. We need people who are there faithfully when times are rough. When things aren't going our way and you, know, you just say, hey, I'm going to be in my place. I'm not giving up on my church family. I'm going to be faithful. You can count on me. And then, you know, faithful people, faithful people, they will learn and teach others also. They learn. They listen. They will learn. They know when to hush so they might be taught. And then they know when to speak so they might teach others also. Sometimes I just need to listen. And sometimes... God might use me or you to speak to others, but faithfulness. I want to be a faithful man. Let's be faithful today. God bless you. Have a great day.